An analysis of soft construction with boiled beans, premonition of civil war by Salvador Dali, produced in 1936, oil on canvas, located at the Philadelphia Museum of Art, presented by Skylar Van Dalen Flood, CIRL 500, summer 2020, July 21st, 2020. Who was Salvador Dali? You've probably heard of Salvador Dali. If not, then you've probably seen a photo of him somewhere. He was not only known for his amazing surrealist paintings, but also his larger than life flamboyant personality. The famous mustache, the frequent media appearances, the sometimes bizarre behavior, and his unparalleled dreamlike paintings. Salvador Domingo Felipe Felipe Jacinto Dali, Dali was born in Figueres, Spain on May 11th, 1904. He received his formal education in fine arts in Madrid. He was interested in Cubism, but moved to Surrealism in the late 1990s. His art was not limited to just painting. He created a sculpture, he created sculptures, film, photographs, jewelry, and wrote extensively, including an autobiography, essays, and fiction. Major themes in his work included dreams, the subconscious, sexuality, religion, science, and his closest personal relationships. Dali lived in France throughout the Spanish Civil War before leaving his wife Gala in the United States in 1940, the start of World War II, where he achieved commercial success. He loved high society and loved the limelight. The artist's love of money is legendary. In 1939, Andre Breton, founder of the Surrealist Movement, gave Dali the nickname Avida Dollars, an anagram for Salvador Dali based on the French Avida, Avida Dollars. It means Igor for dollars. His career in the U.S. started off with painting of paintings of the well-paid high society portraits such as the one he did for his friend Walt Disney. The famous director Alfred Hitchcock hired him for his movie Spellbound because of Dali's ability to depict the vividness of dreams. For Disney, he created the storyboard and drawing for the Oscar-nominated movie Destino. He returned to Spain in 1948 where he announced his return to the Catholic faith and developed his nuclear mysticism style based on his interest in classism, mysticism, and recent scientific developments. Nuclear mysticism, quantum mysticism is, is and I quote, philosophical interpretation of quantum mechanics used as a means to explain the phenomenon of consciousness, seeking to explain actual versus perceived reality. Interpretation of quantum mechanics as he believed there was no room for subjectivity in science. Salvador Dali became enthralled with quantum, quantum mechanics, probably due to the philosophical concepts dealing with consciousness. Some of the philosophical claims of quantum mysticism include beliefs such as there is no observer separate from reality and no separate reality from the observer. End quote. Carolyn Murphy, in her book The Link Between Artistic Creativity and Psycho, psychopathology, Salvador Dali wrote, Dali since childhood, childhood had many phobias and obsessions. To understand Dali's painting, has it, one has to understand what attracted him to the surrealism movement. He liked shocking, revolting, and insulting aspects. He loved his success, which only fed his eccentricity. Also, he knew that the more unusual the artist, the bigger the prob probability of success. Soft Construction with Boiled Beans, Premonition of Civil War. This premonition explores Dali's painting, Soft Construction with Boiled Beans, Premonition of Civil War. It was produced in 1936 and is oil on canvas. Unlike the famous Gersina Picasso painted created after the bombing of that town, the Dali painting was also created to represent the horrors of the Spanish Civil War. It was, however, painted nearly six months before General Franco's fascist army unseated the de democratically elected socialist government of the Second Spanish Republic. Dali claimed that he had known the war was going to happen in order to appear to have profit-like abilities due to the profit power of the subconscious mind. Dali, have, Dali may have changed the name of the painting after the war in a, man, in a manner of proving the prophetic quality, though it was not entirely certain. The painting depicts two large figures that appear as giants if you compare them to their surroundings. The main figure on, on the top half of the painting consists of a leg which extends to the right hand side of the painting and then drops down to be ended with a skeletal foot. The left, left hand side of the painting 
is the other body part of the creature which looks like a woman's breast. In the middle of, the, uh, of this creature sits the grotesque human head which is extensively demon-like, extremely demon-like. Dali once said that the that this head was inspired by the demonic face of the god Saturn in, Fr in Francisco Goya's painting, El Saturno Devorando a Un Hijo, Saturn Devouring His Son. Historical Context Dali and his wife Gala were trapped in the middle of a general strike and an armed uprising by Catalan separants in 1934. In Catalonia, and, hit, and this may have influenced the Spanish Civil War motif. Dali and Gala had to run away to Paris where they got married. Dali and Gala, ha and Dali and Gala had hired an escort to take them safely to Paris, but uh, the escort died on his return because of the stresses of the, of the Spanish Civil War. When Dali had finally returned home, his house in Port Legat was destroyed by the war. He also he was also greatly affected because his friend was executed in the war and his sister Anna Maria was imprisoned and tortured. An analysis. Gruesome, bizarre, and excruciatingly meticulous technique, Salvador Dali's paintings rank among the most compelling portrayals of the unconscious mind. Dali described the convulsively arresting picture of soft construction with boiled beans as a vast human body breaking out into monstrous excrements of the arms and legs tearing at one another in delirium of auto strangulation. The desecration of the human body was a great preoccupation of the surrealists in general, and of Dali in particular. Here the figures, uh, ecstatic grimace, taut neck muscles, and petrifying fingers and toes create a vision of disgusting fascination. The painting includes gruesome images and one that is most ag uh, aggressive depictions of the Spanish Civil one most aggressive depictions of the Spanish Civil War. The painting shows geometric monster type creatures, a man struggling with himself all over the background and on parts of the monster are boiled beans that look like they are melting. The monster stands on trees and uh, a brown wooden box. The face reminds me of a face someone who has to make a decision. The box on which the figure is propped up could mean, could mean either to try to reach the sky or wanting to be seen and heard. The boiled beans could be symbolic of something that started as a good idea but now is turned into something worthless. There is a sense of irony in the picture. A man so obsessed with trying to solve the problem gets so enveloped by it that he forgets that he is falling apart and can never address the problem. The disfigured man could represent Spain in which it, it, which was ripping itself apart through the social up unrest among the, the um, amongst themselves, which led to a civil war. Surrealism. The painting, the painting is one of the finest examples of Spanish surrealism, as noted in the book *Rebel for Art History* by Margaret Stokesed and Michael Cawthron. And I quote: "Surrealist develops strategies to liberate the unconscious." using dream analysis, free association, automatic writing, word games, and hypnotic trances. Dali's contribution to surrealist theory was paranoid critical method in which he cultivated the paranoid's ability to misread, mangle, and misconstrue ordinary appearances, thus liberating himself from the controversial thought. Then he painted what he thought he imagined." End quote. Adele Greenlee's uh, Adele, Ro Adele Greenlee Robin in Surrealism and the Spanish Civil War wrote, and I quote, with both soft construction with boiled beans, premonition of civil war, and his painting Autumn Cannibalism, Dali transformed his standard theme of sexual perversion into an al allegory of the extreme violence of war. He related the images to contemporary political events, especially fascism, fascism, and Manifestation, manifestation of paranoid aggression deeply embedded in the human psyche. Dali analyzed the Hitlerian phenomenon as a ap apocalyptic symptom of uh, alienation and autoaggression affecting borderless society." End quote. Although Dali considered a, considered a key figure in the surrealist movement, the group members were mainly communist and were opposed to Dali's fascist uh, sympathies. The artist had a fascination with Hitler that the surrealists found unsettling and they even tried to get him removed. He once said, I often dreamed of Hitler as a woman. His flesh, which I imagined whiter than white, ravished me. There was no reason for me to stop telling one and, and to me Hitler embodied the perfect image of the great 
um, Masochist, mis mis who could unleash a world war s solely for pleasure of losing and burying himself beneath the rubble of an empire. The graduation, the, the gratuitous action par excellence that should indeed have warranted the admiration of the surrealists. And he even went as far as to include Hitler as uh, in his artwork. The, this includes the 1958 metamorphosis, metamorphosis of Hitler's face into a moonlit landscape with uh, a, a accompaniment, where the Nazi leader's portrait is disguised in the landscape. Works cited in this presentation Picture attributions. Questions. Question one. Do you feel like like that Dali can be defined as a genius comparable to the likes of Leonardo da Vinci, Mozart, Picasso, or do you feel he was just a very talented artist who cleverly managed to manipulate the public perception and create interest in his work by being and acting eccentric? Question two. The question of Dali's fascist sympathies is incoherent with, without the biography, and the biographical evidence against Dali seems fairly thin. Nonetheless, he has emerged from his history as a violent, vicious, opportuni opportunistic person. How much should this matter to our appreciation of his art?